Hello and happy Friday. This is Karen from Vintage Elegance Inspiration. Today I am sharing a beautiful project that I've just completed. This was a commissioned request by a friend who has already received a journal from me and liked it so much that she wanted to have one commissioned for a gift to a friend of hers actually her cousin so this is what became of her request the um, suggestions that she gave me were the color blue aqua turquoise the colors of the sea and this just came to life and I'm just so pleased with it it's absolutely beautiful I love it myself I would be happy to keep it and use it and then that makes me know that the recipient is going to enjoy it every bit as much as I enjoyed making it for her. So this one is for you and I believe it's going to France. I thought it was going to Greece but I believe it's going to France. So it's a folio journal. This is the back side and the front cover. I learned how to make these by watching a tutorial from Yvonne Preston White uh, two years ago at the beginning of the uh, pandemic or lockdown or whatever you want to call it. And I liked it so much that I created several more. So it's been a while since I've made one exactly like this. And I did use the same paper pad collection that I used for the journal for Janine. And it, it just, um, specifically more of a beach, beach and ocean theme just became so obvious to do in this color. Got some lovely fibers at the top, some beautiful sari silk with vintage lace sewn through it, this little dragonfly bling charm on a bulb pin, coilless bulb pin. And my favorite piece of the whole journal is this beautiful vintage earring clip. It just clips onto the closure. It is just so lovely. The mate for this went to someone else and she knows who she is. And so it's just really interesting to know that even though the pair became split up, they're going to two very special people. Got a tag inside the a topper pocket. And this cover paper here is Anna Griffin paper which I absolutely love. Some trim with shells on the bottom. And then of course the beads hanging from the signature strings. So let's go inside. It's a travel notebook size, which is eight and a half by four and a quarter. And I made it out of a file folder. So this is how the earring comes off. Just like that. Gee, just a beautiful vintage earring. And then this is how I do the closure. So it's just looped. And then I drape it across twice, wrap it across twice, and then pull it through the loop again and tie it. Very easy, very basic. So we have the inside cover. The paper pad that I used for the cover, inside and out, is Havana by um, Prima which I've used before. Some beautiful vintage blue lace here. Vintage wallpaper made into a tag. And I've added some sentiments or quotes or journal prompts for the recipient. This I just had to include. It was just so dreamy and so beautiful in those ocean colors. A little shell charm, a tiny tag, and some glitzy uh, eyelash trim together with the vintage lace. And she can just journal on the backs of these if she wants to. On this side, we've got the journal. So I'm going to flip it over for a minute, like so. And this is the back of the journal, flips out. And there is an envelope, which is on a flap. If you're interested in doing one of these, just search two years ago. Yvonne Preston, and it's called a, mm, I think she calls it a flip-flap journal. 
cover. The cover is, is part one. Some tags here. Just some lovely scrapbook paper. This is artisan paper. And the sentiment here is mermaid kisses and starfish wishes. Sweet little tag on this side that can represent her granddaughter if she likes. I just thought it was a sweet companion to the larger um, mermaid on the other side. These digitals are by Adamo Prince. And that's all I used was two that I had. Everything that I had was on hand. I didn't have to buy anything. I had all the supplies and it just makes it so easy. I did use quite a bit of white lace, vintage lace trim, and some colors. This is also vintage lace trim here. This tag comes out and she can journal on the back of that if she chooses. It's also got another secret compartment right here. I didn't put anything in it, but she's welcome to tuck something. You know, if she has a, a love letter or a, something private that she doesn't want everybody else to see, she can just tuck it in there. I'm actually going to do like so for now. And I planned it so that this little hummingbird just peeks through the window of the envelope. This I just did some stamping on a parchment envelope, and then I made the window myself with uh, clear cardstock or acetate. Just two simple tags on this side. Seahorses and the coral can be journaled on the back and stitched around the pockets. It's a beautiful glittery sparkly scrapbook paper. I did some dry embossing here on some parchment paper and then I've just added a business card for her. Sweet little hummingbird there. So here we have the journal. Now I will make sure that I am in frame. Alrighty. And here's my parameters. That's how I try to measure so I don't go out, outside of it. It is 15 pages that are all tea dyed. And 15 times 4 is... Uh, 20, 60 pages, 60 page sides she has to write down her thoughts and memories. Just a tag here in this pocket with some lace and I attached a shell bead onto the front. Added the word journal to the cover and I love this textured and glittery scrapbook paper, it's so sweet. Sentiment here is the voice of the sea speaks to the soul. Inspire and some lovely vintage lace on the side. Come away with me. A little mermaid that I stamped. I did a lot of uh, gold embossed stamping in this journal. The accent colors are gold. And the coral paper again. This is a uh, glassine bag that I tea dyed and added some soft blue, pale blue vintage lace trim too. Just very simple. I had to keep it quite thin as well. Life is better at the beach. And this sentiment says, every day do something a little different. Lots of room for journaling, some more vintage lace, some flip-flops at the beach in the sand, just a little tuck spot here. She can tuck something behind it or in front of it. This sentiment says, cherish your family for they are your treasure, a storehouse of riches and wealth beyond measure. Beautiful. Some stenciling on this side, the word paradise stamped and embossed in gold ink. A tag here that I have attached a vintage button to that takes on many different colors. It's not really iridescent, but it's just very interesting facets to it. it um, it's more like a prism shape and it sparkles greeny, bluey, purpley, just gorgeous. And, uh, and a very interesting looking cocktail stamp there. Antique French lace here. This sentiment says, always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. This one says, sand, surf, sunshine, beach, and a starfish stamped in gold, tropical leaves, Another cocktail, oh so pretty, 
more vintage lace. This was the end of it. So that one is all done. Beautiful. I love the way it drapes over the side when the uh, journal is shut. And here we've got a little flip up. And a tag. I love the mosaics in this. And it's also embossed. I don't know if you can see the texture on it. The word journey there. And here are the beads again. If you want a close up. These are gorgeous sea glass beads. Um, that are shaped in hearts. Love it. So sweet. And these are. I think they're agate beads. I just love the way they change colors when you hold them in the light. It's a different fish stamp there on each side. The word dreams, the word beach, and a long tag. Oh, I can see I didn't put a topper in there yet. We'll just note to self to finish that. A stamp of a, a girl floating around on a palm leaf. Ocean air, salty hair. The word vintage on the other side of the antique French lace. Lots of room for journaling. And great to, size to just throw in your handbag or your tote bag. More stenciling, some more vintage lace, and I just ran some very narrow blue satin ribbon through it. Starfish stamped here in the gold. This sentiment says, and the song from beginning to end I found in the heart of a friend. I love that quote. Another little tuck spot, sand dollar stamped up there. Some line journal page, cute little tag of a palm tree, a hut, and the quote says a day at the beach. And a tea dyed paper doily with another beautiful vintage button. This one is metal and it's in a greenish turquoisey aqua color. Another tropical leaf stamped there on the uh, left side in gold. This quote says, the earth has music for those who will listen. Some more vintage lace with some pink thread running through it. And then this is just a lace card, crocheted lace card that I made for her because I had one in the journal I did for Janine as well. Tiny little charm says made with love because that's what I do. This is chiffon uh, silk here. I love it. It's just so amazing to work with. It just kind of crinkles and curls on its own. And then I just put the word lace on the back. For those of us that use lace, admire lace, and love lace. Got extra special significance. And the word paradise stamped up in gold in the top. And then the last page has two tags. This one is one that I purchased to the best fish in the sea. I just thought the colors were so perfect. Extra little journaling space. And just a tag. And the sentiment says, happy day. So it gives her just enough room to write her thoughts if she goes on a vacation or whatever she would like to do with it or just a, a coffee table book. And that's it. That is the sweet little book that I've just completed no name for her other than blue and beachy and ocean and vintage, all those things. So thank you for watching. And I really appreciate the opportunity, uh, Janine, to make this for you, for your cousin. It was a real honor. I hope she loves it as much as I enjoyed making it. Have a great Labor Day weekend, everyone. Bye for now.